American citizen thanks Trump for helping him and his wife escape is uh, war in Israel. This was out today. I think today's the 11th, right? And there's more. Friedman went on to explain how the former president made a flight to the United Arab Emirates possible via the a Abraham Accords. Yes, this was the peace deal when that no other president seemed to be able to do, but Trump did. You know, the biggest reason um, why there was very few terrorist attacks and, and no wars under Trump is because instead of funding terrorist organizations like our other presidents have, Trump cut the head of the snake off by not letting any funding go to them. So there's a big difference. Yeah, so everything you see playing out and Biden giving six billion, yeah, to Iran, that's because they fund terrorist organizations. Um, the second paragraph here, if not for the Trump-Abraham Accords, this would be unthinkable. There would be no flights from Israel to the UAE. To be able to fly to a friendly Arab country when even Americans, American flights won't uh, dare at, at a time of war fly to these countries is miraculous. Thanks to Trump's efforts, thousands, thousands of American citizens have a way home from a very dangerous situation. Even as it seems, the Middle East is imploding. The historic peace agreement is making things a little better. Yes, a lot because it allowed the fl flying into United Arab Emirates. Yeah, so those haters of Trump, how many of them? The ones that are the diehard uh, Trump haters. Are you also uh, pro-Palestinians? And Because you're not for Palestine. Here's why. The Abraham Accords, this is just a list of the things Trump did. A few of the things he did regarding the Middle East during his four years recognized Jerusalem as the true capital of Israel and quickly moved the American embassy in Israel to Jerusalem. Do you know how many presidents had promised to do that? Never did. Um, next, acknowledged Israel's sovereignty over the Golan Heights and declared that Israel settlements in the West Bank, again, the West Bank is Samaria and Judea, are not consistent with international law. Three, removed United States from the United Nations Human Rights Council due to the group's blatant anti-Israel bias. Yes, anti-Israel bias. Everybody has known this about the United Nations. So I really wonder why the American Nurses Association, National Nurses United, American Medical Association, got on board with Agenda 2030 when the United Nations, because that's where it's out of with the World Economic Forum, why they got on board with it. But then, of course, they all got on board with BLM, too. Uh, we don't need nurses that are anti-Jew. <sighs> Next, brokered historic peace agreements between Israel and Arab Muslim, Muslim countries, including the United Arab Emirates, um, and so on. I can't see it because of the recording. The circle is blocking it. There's more. Brokered a deal for Kosovo to normalize ties and establish di diplomatic relations with Israel. Announced that Serbia would move its embassy in Israel to Jerusalem. First American president to address an assembly of leaders from more than 50 Muslim nations reaching an agreement to fight terrorism in all its forms. Established the Adel Center to Combat Terrorism in the Middle East in conjunction with the Saudi Arabian government announced the Vision for Peace political plan, a two-state solution that resolves the risks of Palestinian statehood to Israel's security, making the first time Israel has agreed to a map and a Palestinian state, re uh, released an economic plan to empower the Palestinians. Yeah. Trump wasn't leaving the Palestinians out. So I wonder why those pro-Palestine um, terror organizations all around our country right now, BLM with them, why it is that they hated Trump so much. They must really just hate peace because if they were for Palestine, then they should have been all on board with Trump because it says here that's what it did, released an economic plan to empower the Palestinian 
and 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 to furthermore um, enhance the Palestinian governance through historic private investment instead of terrorist organizations running everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I wonder, is Ilhan Omar, are they really for peace? I don't think so. But then I don't think terrorist organizations are for peace. They're for killing babies, regardless, Christian, Jews, doesn't matter. I mean, when they're, if they get what they want, which they won't, but I mean, you know, annihilate all the Jews, then they'll move to the Christians. Yeah, that's what they'll do. So realize that's all over our country right now. Yeah. Um, and, and this idea, well, we have to come to the table and t what are we going to talk about? No, you have to, st there has to be, funding needs to um, end to all of these terrorist organizations. Then if these, if these students still want to be little terrorists, I hate saying that, but that's how I see it. If you're a college student, you are at an age when you know right from wrong. Now, maybe they have been so um, persuaded because of these sicko professors. I mean, sick professors that should not be allowed, first of all, near children at all. But then college kids aren't children. But they shouldn't certainly be in a classroom, okay? I, something really needs to be done about the universities in this country. I guess maybe if you can uh, defund all these terrorist organizations, then it would, st it would stop well, I don't know that it would stop. I think they'd still use the classroom to push their propaganda agenda instead of actually teaching students. Um, but it makes no sense why uh, so many professors hated Trump, unless they're anti-Jew as well. That's what this, these pro-Palestinians are uh, rallies are. It's, it's basically saying we hate the Jews, which you can follow that up with they hate Christians because most of them do. I, I, many of them that talk that you can tell, you just can tell by the things they say they have no conscience and they justify their actions like a psychopath would. Um, they justify the killing of babies. They justify the killing of anybody in the name of whatever it is they're using to advance their death cult. That's what they're, that's what the, that's, that's what the pro-Palestinian, um, let's stand with the terrorists is all about a death cult. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, most of your climate cult is in that same cult. Um, yeah, I, unbelievable to me, all of this, this crap going on. And then it's so interesting, all these people trying to say that what's going on in Israel is, oh no, this is fake and that's fake. Like I mentioned that shadow of Urza yesterday. Who, who for what? I don't know. I've seen that, 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 uh, profile name come up for years now supposedly supports Trump, right? No, just wants to wants to make sure, try to um, use Trump to advance an agenda where people will think that what's happening in Israel isn't real. And yet that's more real than anything um, because of the fact that it, it goes back to the Bible, first of all, but also because Trump posted this today. He didn't. It, 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 he didn't have some negotiating deal with Ukraine because he he didn't negotiate with terrorists. He cut funding to terrorists. I'm not saying the Ukrainian people are terrorists. Again, you have to you have to separate the Palestinian people. You have to separate the Ukraine people from the terrorist organizations. Okay, many of them get pulled into it. Like if they're young, I explained that yesterday. But the fact is, there is a difference. But you have to cut the head of the snake off, which is the terrorist organizations, so that the rest of it falls. Right now, we have an administration in this country that supports terrorism. And you will likely, hopefully it'll be handled quickly, but you will likely see these, these, these organizations rise up. And I say this for one reason. I mean, rise up and do something. And I say this because they know this is their last shot. They do. Because most people see it. So unless they can try to be successful at their agenda, and they won't be, um, unless they can try to be successful this time and, and annihilate whoever they want to, then um, they won't have a chance after this because everybody sees who BLM is. That is unless you're on the side of BLM, which in that case, um, you've sided with evilness, just a fact. I mean, we need to stop being politically correct. It's the evil ones that want to play the political correctness game. This is, they're simple. There's two sides here, good and evil. You can recognize between the two. It's very obvious. So not taking a stand is always taking a stand with evil. <laughs>